Okay, so here's our second example of trans tran no, rotating a point through any angle around the origin. This one might seem slightly more difficult to you, but it's actually easier. Let's have a look at what it says. Show that the coordinate P, the image of the point, uh, sorry, P accent, the image of point P, which is uh, X and Y, rotated around the origin uh, through an angle of 30 degrees in an in the anti-clockwise direction is given by and then it says that the coordinate of p accent is given now by this okay and it's simply that point that's rotated around the origin at 30 degrees okay so we would say well the point p x accent and y accent can be calculated using our transformation rule which is and x gets multiplied with cos of theta subtract y multiplied with sine of theta and that would give me my y coordinate if I'm going in an anti-clockwise direction sorry my x coordinate in the anti-clockwise direction the y coordinate I take x multiplied with sine of theta theta the angle of rotation and I add y times cos of theta okay and that would give me my y coordinate and all I now simply do is substitute so I substitute x is my original coordinate my original coordinate is just x so that stays x cos of theta is now just cos of the angle which is 30 degrees okay minus y well that's just the coordinate that I of my object and, and I don't have that it's just y so and sine of 30 degrees okay and then we've got x which is uh, just x still and then sine of 30 degrees plus cos uh, y times cos of 30 degrees it's literally substituting everything I have okay and there we go and the next step is to change everything into positive acute and simple which in this case it already is so I'll go to the second part or the next part then is to change the um, special angle ratios into their actual ratios okay so uh, I'm not going to repeat all that for time's sake and, and draw that I know by now that cos of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2 sine of 30 is a half okay so that's all I'm going to substitute in, in here is the cos of 30 square root 3 over 2 x is multiplying square root 3 over 2 so I might as well write it as square root 3 over 2 times x minus a half times y okay whether I multiply y times a half or half, half times y that's the same okay and on this side I've got x is sine of 30 is a half okay x plus y is square root uh, sorry cos of 30 is square root 3 over 2 y and there we go I've got I've got what they asked me to do I must show that and I'm dead okay and that's it for this question. See you in the next one.